is going on doggies welcome back to another video and good bloody morning to you it is early it is cold and it is it is so windy i don't even know how to explain it mate it is blowing its absolute tits off right now so we're taking shelter on this side of the car and um it is barista sessions times come on this thing's stuffed man i use it too much look it's just too windy oh there you go Sky. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so windy that the it's so windy that the coffee's like doing backflips in the cup right now. It's a shit house. But it should be really good when we get down there. Once we get down to the bottom of that cliff, this wind should just shoot over the top of the cliff and it should be just nice, beautiful, no wind down there. So I'm gonna neck this coffee. Chuck, a, chuck some shoes on and we're just gonna hike down that big cliff face, get down the bottom and um, let's just see how we go. It would be a very, very interesting day. here we go the mission has officially started we are now on our way to find a way down this cliff and um, pretty excited about it to be honest we just smashed the coffee we are not allowed to eat any food unless we catch it today and um, a little bit of cooking equipment we've got a couple of things in this backpack it weighs a ton that's all good we're gonna see if we can make our way down this cliff Hopefully we can find some sort of a way down because it does look pretty good down there. There shouldn't be too much wind either, so we'll get down there, see how we go. I reckon what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hoof it straight down. That is a bloody steep cliff, but from what I can see, there is no tracks to the part I wanna fish. I wanna fish off that flat ledge right there, and there is no tracks actually to get down there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have to just make our own track slowly and very carefully just crawl down here we we'll just get down it's the only way i can see oh shit this is bad like these rocks are just so loose man everything's just really loose up here that sketchy as oi 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 <laughs> There's the first fly of the day. A <sighs> little bit of breakfast. I said we were have to gonna catch our breakfast, so I just ate a fly. Anyway, we are halfway down, not even halfway down, but it's actually not too bad, really. It's just gotta be careful where you put your footing because some of these rocks are super loose and um, they're full slippery. Like I've just kicked a rock down and rolled the whole way down to near the water. So I'd hate to start a little bit of a bloody rock avalanche thing. It'll be all right. This is beautiful, man. Check this out. Look at this, man. This is... This is good. So we started just there. It's not too bad, at all, really. I'm going to be fishing down there. Yeah, big. made it onto the destination and this place looks incredible i don't know how deep it is out there but it does look like it drops off to a big deep ledge that's fly number two you've got you've got to be kidding me that's the second fly that we've eaten in half an hour we're going to be full later on Anyway, this is where we're fishing. This looks bloody incredible. I'm gonna set up a couple of rods. I've got two rods down here. One big rod, one medium rod. 
I'm just gonna piff lures for the start of the day and see how we go. This is sick, I'll show you guys where we'll fish from. It's so good. This is gonna be my platform here, I reckon. I'll stand here. I'll be able to piff lures all the way out there. If we hook up to something big, I can just drag it up onto this ledge and we'll run down there, pick it up. Oh, look at it, it looks good. Just seen a bird come down and just smoke a fish off the surface and there's a couple of splashes out far oh man you just never know what you're gonna get when you're doing this kind of thing if i could choose one fish that i'd love to catch off the rocks here that would be a spanish mackerel spinning lures if i can get that done my goodness that's that's a massive tick off the list for the area that i'm in right now holy shit, Wendy. Ah! <laughs> what a stupid sound. Well, oh, these flies are heavy. The flies are coming in thick. Hey! Oh, rip him up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's not put that on camera. That's embarrassing. Go, baby. Sweet! Feels like a little pink snapper. Could be. Soon to see. Up here, doggy, up here, get up here. No, 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 no. Oh, it is, it's a little pinky. Well, have a look at that little weapon. That's the first proper fish of the day. Excuse me, I'm chewing on fishing line again. That is a beautiful little pink snapper. He's probably just size, but I'm going to let him go. He's a beautiful little fish. He's still fresh. We'll get him back while he's alive. Oh, there's fish splashing here. All right, let's get this back in on a cast. Thank you. You're beautiful. See you, mate. Let's throw him back. Sight! Sue! All right, this is pretty bloody interesting. There's a guy fishing somewhere way over there. This bloody absolute legend of a bloke just comes over and goes, Oi, your field day. You should come and film this. There's like a turtle eating a, I mean, there's a shark eating a turtle and there's a seal or I don't know what's happening. There's something happening over there. So we've got the drone and um, we're going to go and investigate. We're going to go see what the hell's going on over there.
finally get to see that shark or turtle. I think we saw the seal, but like it's so glary, man. I can't see shit out here. My eyes are like struggling, but I think that was a seal. You can see that mad dog over there. He's actually fishing on that rock as well. So if you're watching this video, brother, thank you for the heads up. Um, yeah, I've seen the seal for sure, but we've got to keep fishing, man. We need to get one of these fish on the deck. Hey! 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 Stoo! All right, that's it. We are done. I'm done and dusted. We're not fishing anymore here. I have been fishing for so long, man. We're flicking lures, fishing on the bottom. This place has been, either been flogged or there's just no fish to catch right now. That other guy's left. It didn't look like he was walking out with any fish. And um, neither am I by the looks of things. So what we need to do is we need to somehow find food. And um, this just ain't working right now. So I'm going to change plan. Maybe we'll walk the whole way back up to the top of this cliff, jump back in the troopy, and um, we'll just make a plan B. The time is 1.30 in the afternoon, so we've still got enough time to just punch around and change our plans. So let's go and do something epic. There are absolutely no fish here. I'm gonna pack up all this stuff and we'll start hiking up out of here. That's the plan, let's go. Let's go and do something fun and exciting. Oi. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I've got absolutely, I've got no idea what we're gonna do now, but I'm not wasting any more time here. We have fished for about, I don't know, six hours, hard fishing, and um, we had absolutely no luck, so we're moving on. Don't really know what we're doing now, but we're gonna find something fun to do, because that sucked, man. Now I'm gonna walk all the way back up there. Well, it's a little bit easier that we don't have a big fish in the bag, but it would have been nice to have a big juicy fish in the bag. What's this? Man, I've got goosebumps, hey? This is hectic. So this is a poor, some poor fella in 1951. Got swept off these rocks when he was fishing. And um, obviously he died or they never found him. But this is like his plaque. This is in memory of the guy. That's just such like a, it's just such a little reminder. So you just, you just can't become complacent on these rocks because it says down the bottom here, the above tragedy occurred on a calm day with the, on a low tide. So he would have been fishing like this. This is a nice calm day. And that's what I was talking about before. Those big freak waves, they just come out of nowhere, smash up on these rocks and people just get sucked in. And obviously this poor fella didn't make it. Actually got goosebumps right now. Some poor bloke was out here doing what he loves and he got swept into the ocean. That's hectic. Much love, brother, much love. Peace and love to you and your family, mate. That's hectic. All right, let's keep punching on and uh, continue this walk. That's just a friendly reminder. Never turn your back to the ocean, doggies. Even if it's calm like this, you just never, ever know. Here we go, have a look at this. From one magical place to another. All right, I haven't driven too far at all from that cliff and we're in one of my favorite little secret camp spots. You guys have never been here before and this place is, um, I love coming here, this place is epic. We used to shoot some big mullet in this little creek here in the background, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for something a lot, big, a lot bigger and a lot better. I'll tell you right now, it's gonna taste a lot better, but before we do anything, we've gotta get a beautiful little fire going. We're gonna make a big bed of coals, and um, welcome to the field day kitchen. This is gonna be bloody all time, doggies. What we're about to do is, we're about to cook up something that's gonna blow your bloody mind. All right, 
For you who do have no idea what this is here, this is called a camp oven and it is by far the best way to cook food. Doesn't matter what you're cooking, roast, curry, fish, stew, you can cook anything. You can literally cook pizzas, muffins, damper. You can cook anything in this thing. Basically what it is, it's just a big old cast iron pot, big heavy lid and um, that's it. It's a very simple way of cooking. Here in Australia, a lot of people cook this way in the bush and um, this has been on my mind for a bloody long time. I've been wanting just to sit around the campfire and cook a big juicy feed in one of these because there's no other, not, nothing, nothing compares to the taste of food out of a camp oven. So that's what we're doing right now. I thought, I was thinking, we'll go fishing in the afternoon. I was like, man, let's not go fishing. Let's have a little bit of a bloody campfire cook up. And that is exactly what we're ready to do right now. So get your napkins, get your bibs, chuck them up around your neck. You're gonna start dribbling and drooling when you smell this food. We've got a nice little tray, nice little thing in there. It is super clean. It's all oiled up and ready to go. I wanna show you guys what we're about to cook. And it's, this is gonna take about two and a half to three hours to cook. It's gonna be oh. I mean, Before we do anything, what we need, we need is a, we just need a massive Massive bed of coals here. So I'm just gonna keep chuck chucking these decent sized logs on the fire and um, Hopefully we can get a nice bed of coals in time because like I said, this is gonna take two to three hours to cook what we're gonna cook and um, Without coals we cannot cook. Well, you suppose we can but the, you need the coals to be big juicy hot and just coals that coals are the key coals are everything right now All right, so what we're going to be making right now, we're going to be making a bush roast. Actually, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making um, roast beef gravy rolls. That's what we're going to be having in the bush. But we've also got our serving of vegetables here. And it's just, look, mate, this is, like I said, it is the best way to cook food. And um, I'm sick of eating fish, man. I eat fish every single, just about every single day. Mac Tan and myself, we eat fish. So it is time for us to make something a little bit different and um, I'm actually tonguing for this. So what we've got is, we've got a garlic, we've got a carrot, onion, potato, pumpkin. We've just got this big slob of meat here. So the key with the meat, what I do with this is, right, I leave it out of the fridge. You want that to be room temperature. You don't want the inside of the meat to be cold, of the roast to be cold. If that can be nice and warm, that's your key. A Little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of gal uh, bloody olive oil, and I've got this oregano garlic seasoning that just finishes it off, mate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up all of these vegetables, chuck them in a bag, a little bit of seasoning, salt, pepper, oil, shake that around, put that to the side. This has got a couple of more minutes to, to just become at room temperature or outside temperature for us. And um, while we do that, we're going to, we've got a good 45 minutes for that coal, for those coals just to pit it down big red better coals that is what we're chasing so while that's doing that i'm going to sit here and cut up all this goodness <sighs> tell you what it is going to be that good a little bit a little bit something different than fish we failed matt we failed miserably today but that's okay it's not every day you go and get a fish dice up this button up pumpkin I'm just cutting everything into big chunks because it's going to go into the camp oven and it's just big chunks is the way I'm gonna chuck it into this bag here. Look at that. That's all full of good old vegetables. Garlic, a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna bang that olive oil. Not too much. That's apes. A little bit of that. Look at this. How good is this? A little bit of salt. Straight in the bag. Don't be shy. That'll do. Pepper. Straight in the bag. Once again, don't be shy. Pepper's good, mate. All right, now this is the uh, this is the real secret: oregano and garlic seasoning. Oh wait, ain't going nowhere, is it? All right, rip that off. Be a little bit generous with this stuff because it tastes bloody good. Ziplock that up. And just give that a good old fashioned shaking around. All right, so the key to getting the perfect cooking coals is you don't want big pieces of wood. Like if I was to chuck, for an example, if I was to chuck on this big chunk of wood here, that thing ain't gonna turn into those nice chunky little coals. You want little sections of wood 
something like this that's perfect that can go straight on that's what we're really chasing those nice little pieces of wood they'll go um straight on the fire and they'll turn into those beautiful beautiful little coals that we're chasing just like that boom 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 load him up takes quite a while to get a nice bed of coals going so up him now we're cooking we got some good wood on he's a good piece too now we're cooking listen to this fire now that's what a fire should sound like the crackle and the pop you put a bit a little bit of good quality wood on the fire mate and she actually starts sounding like a good old bush television listen to that that sounds incredible some big red coals happening on the inside that's what we need how bloody good while we're talking about things that are good let's have a little yarn about this axe here look at this axe i got this a couple of months ago and um Look, credit's due where credit's due. This, this guy is an Australian-made, Australian-owned company, handmade in Australia. It's called the Farmer's Forge. This is in no way a sponsored post. I'm just, um, like I said, credit's due where credit's due. This thing, it is the most incredible axe I've ever bought. The finish, the quality, the way that it's built. It is extremely hard to find good quality things, things these days, and um, I've been so happy with this axe. I've given it a flogging already. It is razor sharp. You could just about fill it a fish with that, I reckon. Beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. We've got a nice little axe. We've got some really good wood. That fire is pumping right now. It's making the sound it should. And um, we've even got a scenery that'll heal a set of sore eyes, I reckon. Have a look at that. Doesn't come much better. Well, it'll come much better when you hear that bloody roast sitting down here cooking away. We're not far off, doggies. It's gonna bust salt on one side. Same goes with the pepper. Pepper that up. Look at these flies. They are having a field day right now. Get it? Field day. Salt on this side. I mean pepper. It's kind of about full. Salt. Boom. This is really simple, really delicious way of doing things. Olive oil. We'll give it a little bit of a Little sprinkle, you don't want to drown it. Rub that side on. Same goes, little bit of olive oil. Just rub it on. Look at my hands, they're filthy. They're black from the fire. Gives it flavor, you know? Anyway, it is as simple as this. You just grab your big, juicy chunk of meat, sit it straight on top of that tray. Always make sure that the meat is never gonna be, it's not obviously as proud of that, which it isn't. So that's all good, that's just gonna sit there exactly like that. Lid goes on. And we're gonna take it over to the fire. These coals are looking pretty dandy in there, look at that. Yeah, they're looking good. All right, we can scratch a couple out of there. Couple of these beautiful little, there they are. Incredibly good coals. It's gonna go down there. You don't want it to be too hot at the start. That's more than enough. That there is just gonna sit straight on top. Try to keep it level. You don't want it too close to the fire because you don't want that penetrating heat through the camp oven. That's perfect. Grab a couple more. That's it. Leave that for about one hour. Don't touch it, don't even think about it. Just leave it there. That is gonna be real good. All right, we'll stock this fire back up. So we've got some coals for later on. This is what it's all about. I've decided to stay here for the night, so I've popped the roof up on the troopy. This is where we're gonna be sleeping, right here, right there. I've actually been for a big walk up the creek trying to find mullet. Got the bow and arrow out. I was all ready to plug a couple of mullet and um, no good. The water's real murky. They've had rain here, so it's pushed all that fresh water down and the mullet will be out at sea by now, but look how we're looking. This is probably, we're about an hour in. All I've done is put this little log on top here because that's still really hot. But listen, just listen, ready? Can you guys hear that sizzling? That is that bit of meat in there. It's only very lightly bubbling away in there, but it's a very low heat. So 
we're, we're looking good, man. It's still got a long time. We've got this much sunlight left, and I am just killing time shooting. I don't know if you can see that target all the way down there, but I'm just shooting arrows at that target, and I'm having one hell of a time. What a day. We're going to be eating real good soon. All right, I'll get back to flinging arrows, and um, we'll see you guys when we open that thing up, I guess. Ready? Check this out. Oh, ba ba ba. <laughs> I just literally one second ago, I just took that little tray away from the bottom and um, look at that. That's just natural juices in the bottom. I didn't put any of that water in there. Look at this. Oh, that is so juicy. Man, that's going to be really good. So what we're going to do now is wait here. All right, what we're going to do is we'll grab this big, beautiful bag of veggies. Just going to dump all those veggies straight in there. Get all that oil, get all those juices in there. Lost a bit of onion, but that's all right. Okay, look at that. That looks bloody incredible. That's stinking hot in there. Veggies are in. I'm gonna actually, what we'll do is, very carefully, without getting the bottom dirty, nailed it. Put that on. We're gonna do another, we're gonna do another row of coals on the top and on the bottom. Bring that heat back up to a high heat now. Get that nice and level. Pop that handle up. Bang these hot coals on top there. Oh yeah. That's it. Simple as that. We're back on. Just look at that, look at that picture right there. How, oh man, words don't even, words can't even explain. All right, what I've just done is I've just taken the coals off the top of this. It is looking bloody incredible. It is, ah, it is. Of course it's hot. I don't know why I touch shit all the time, but I do it every time. That lid's coming off. Look at this. These veggies, they are done beautifully. But what we're gonna do is, look how juicy this is. That is just, that's gonna be real good. First thing I've eaten all day. This is so much better than fish. All right, that's going on there. All right, now I know this is cheating, but this is just a little bit of, this is just gravy. I think what we'll do is, see how sharp that knife was? You probably just didn't see that just then, but that's the sharpest knife in the world. I'm just gonna pour the gravy into that liquid that we've made there. I'm going to boil it on that fire and all the moisture will come out of that liquid and that's going to be the best tasting gravy you have ever tasted. Guarantee you. Alright, I'm really excited. Let's slice this thing open and have a look. Ready? You are seeing what I'm seeing. I've never seen the inside of this before. Oh, it's juicy, man. Look at that. Cooked to bloody perfection. Look how juicy this is. Yeah, we nailed it. Absolutely bloody nailed it. So I'm just gonna cut it into nice little slices. Have a go at the flies around this food, would ya? Nothing you can do about it. You just gotta suck it in and enjoy it this looks how good yes yeah that's doing its thing there got all that steam to boil out it's going to turn into a beautiful big thick gravy twice as good as the gravy that i poured in there that's the goods that is the goods Get out of here, you mongrels. All right, doggies, we are done. We are finally eaten. 
Have a look at this. We've got a beautiful bowl of fresh veggies. They actually taste real good because they're cooked in the juices of the steak or whatever this bloody meat is. There is a big tray of perfectly cooked meat. This gravy will blow your mind. Look how thick it is. It's gone super thick. All that moisture's come out of that gravy. We got ourselves a cheeky little bread roll. Actually got six of these in the car, so I'm gonna probably overfeed myself and have one hell of a sleep with this background, but this is what we're doing right now. Look, little bit of meat straight in there. Don't be shy, it's just me out here. I'll probably eat all this to be honest. Look at that. Right now what we're gonna do is a little bit of onion, garlic, just, just all the goods in there. Not too much, you don't want to destroy it. Look at that. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pour this gravy. Oi. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. Look at this. That just looks ridiculously good. Hold on a second. Oh my god. Oh, this has got to be, this is by far the best thing we've ever cooked ever. The field day kitchen is turning it up right now. That gravy is off its head. Mmm. That's like the bought gravy and then with steroids on top of it. The meat is super soft. Look at that meat, man. I'm just going to dip it straight in that gravy. Mmm. Well, that one missed miss me big gob, but you get the point. This is bloody delicious. Huh. All right. I'm going to go sit around the fire and um, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> I just added so much gravy to this burger or whatever the hell this is called. This is just going to be the biggest, sloppiest taste bomb ever. Oh. Wow. What a day. We didn't even catch a fish. And we're eating good. I reckon what we should do is we should start a thing called Field Day Kitchens where we just don't go fishing. Or we don't catch fish. We just cook mad feeds like this because this is off, the, off its head. Like this is the best thing I've ever eaten. All right, thank you so much for watching this episode of Field Day Kitchens and um, I guess I'll see you in the next video, doggies. Much love, thank you so much for watching. If you guys get the chance, get outside, start a fire, get a camp oven and um, cook yourself some good old fashioned grub. It's fun, it's enjoyable and look at this man. You get these incredibly bloody beautiful sunsets, little river, little fire, troop dog set up. Life is bloody incredible. All right doggies, make the most of this life. We've got one spin around. Much love and I'll see you in the next video. Doop. Hey, how good's this? So good. 110% going for round two. Man, we're gonna put some tunes on. Have a little party out here.